Hello everyone, I'm back, finally, it's been two months, I've been busy building my computer, and this is a weird sight to behold, but we're covering the Ben 10 Iceberg, and, um, I don't know, um, we're gonna be covering, uh, Ben 10, but, here's what we're gonna do, if I don't know, um, if I, so let's just say, if I don't know three of the subjects in a section, I have to get, um, I have, I have to do a reveal of my face, or, or I have to run around my, my shopping center in a old man mask. So, let's do this. Let's get into it. Alright, section one, Mr. Smoothie. Uh, Ben fell in love with Mr. Smoothie in Alien Force, and eventually he turned everyone onto Mr. Smoothie like a cult. Sadly, uh, Mr. Smoothie's taking over. Uh, Ben has more than 10 aliens. This was broken at the, this rule was broken at the <clears throat> very first sight, um, of Cannonball, which is undoubtedly one of my favorite aliens. Being able to spin up into a ball and be a ping pong. I got a good, um, I forgot to tell you guys, I got my good mic back for this episode. Um, Master Control. Master Control is when Ben can't time out, he gets the correct alien every time. He chooses it, and he can swap between aliens without becoming human again. If you guys don't know about Ben 10 and the Omnitrix, uh, go watch um, a video by Kuro the, Arti the Artist or Ink Tank. By the way, how cursed is this photo of little Ben? Uh, Humongous Horn Forearms. They are Ben's two most powerful aliens by brute force, and the younger Ben's would usually choose him because of that brute force power alone. Um... Heatblast was the first alien used. Uh, yes, that is correct. Heatblast was something called a pyrite alien, which is a species. He was the very first alien to be used by um, by Ben, obviously, and and because of that, um, well, yeah, it's just became the very first alien. Can name all five series. Ben Ten isn't isn't split into seasons. It's split into series, and I thought that was with Ninjago too, but it turns out I'm just an idiot. Uh, it's split into different things, each having a slightly different animation style, apart from Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. <clears throat> and, um, all five of them are Ben 10, Ben 10 Alien Force. Uh, I'll just go over what they each are. The normal Ben 10 is where Benjamin, our boy Benjamin here, the one, what the hell happened to his tooth? Uh, the normal Ben 10 is where Ben finds the Omnitrix on a road trip! Woo! With his grandpa Max, who is probably the, the, the best grandpa ever seen in any show or movie. And his cousin Gwen. I've been with my cousin. I'd probably hate Gwen if she was my cousin. Alien Force is when Ben and Gwen meet up with Kevin, an old enemy of Ben, to do some stuff. Like, um, stop an alien invasion. Ultimate Alien is when Ben gets a new on the tricks that allows him to... And get this... Simulate what would happen if these aliens were in a war zone for a million years, and then somehow the, the four humongous all can grow gun arms. I don't know how. Um, Omniverse is my personal favorite, being that being having the very first official Omnitrix. A uh, little known fact that the original Omnitrix is a prototype Omnitrix. Sorry for the ear rape. Um. And then there's the reboot, which no one liked because it was more kitty when the new Ben 10 wasn't afraid to kill people. Haha! <laughs> They're dead! Uh, alright, um, what's next? Ben can scan aliens. Yes, Ben can scan aliens, and in the newer seasons, Ben can... Well, Ben... Ben's Omnitrix does get locked when there's a new alien, and then he can scan it and become it. But, however, there's a low chance that this will happen due to the fact that Ben has over 1 million aliens stored in his Omnitrix. Layer 2! The, the tip of the iceberg. <clears throat> Let's do this. Heroes United, the Generator Rex crossover. I know about it, I've never seen it, but I'll let this count. Um, <clears throat> in, uh, there was a show called Generator Rex that really was extremely underrated. Um, but yeah, Generator Rex was, um, well, Generator Rex had a crossover with Ben 10, 
<clears throat> the animation style was more different. Uh, I would say more anime, but at the same time, I I I wouldn't say more anime. And yet again, it, I don't know what to say. I I know what it is, but I I don't really like it. <clears throat> the <clears throat> the Secret Sundays crossover. I actually don't know what the Secret Saturday crossover is, so uh. Sorry, I heard a noise. Um, I don't know, mark that as one. Uh, the Omnitrix was meant for Max. The Omnitrix actually wasn't meant for Max. Um, kind of. Uh, you see, Azmuth, the creator of the Omnitrix, had the original intention to give it to Ben. Or for it to be dropped into a planet or something, I don't know. But then the person who was delivering it and got under attack... She wanted uh, Max to have the Omnitrix for some reason, but it turns out in Omniverse it's revealed that due to time manipulation events, uh, yeah, apparently Ben was supposed to get the Omnitrix for the reason. Uh, Gwen 10. Gwen 10 was an alternate universe where Gwen found the Omnitrix. It was it was cool. I don't know. It wasn't really it wasn't really my thing. I I I, I would rather other things. Other alternate dimensions like Ben 23, Ben, uh, Ben, who's more, who's a kid, he decides to capitalize and become American, and he decided to sell his livelihood, but he also has 23 aliens instead, and he's more bling bling, and he has a blue on the tricks, which I do like. Um, the Omniverse season nine road trip at the end of Omniverse. Ben was planning a, at the end of season 8 of Omniverse, Ben was planning a road trip with Gwen, Max, with, sorry, Gwen, Kevin, Brooke, and himself included. However, this was discussed to be an actual season, but then some hip dog swagger role came in, in the middle of nowhere, and, um, and was just, like, yo, what up, what up, hip dogs? It's, it's your boy, Cartoon Network, we're rebooting the show, for kids, god do I hate kids, and the season was cancelled, but I would still love to get Yuri Longfall back, um, between shooting voice acting lines for the new Spider-Man game, and force him in a chair to say the rest of the lines, while we force the animators at gunpoint to do it, however, if we actually do do that, that would be illegal! Um, next up we got Albedo. Albedo was the evil version of Ben, essentially. He was a Galvin, which is essentially the same species as Azmuth or Grey Matter. And due to a misfunctioning on the tricks, he started to look like Ben, and it got pretty weird. PTSD. Uh, yeah, but Albedo was essentially evil Ben. He made the Ultimatrix, which is used in Ultimate Alien, and has that million-year battlefield thing. Uh, what's next? Duncan Rul Rul Rulau questions. I don't know anything about uh, Duncan Rulau questions, but like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know Duncan Duncan Rulau questions. It's I, I I got I got confused about. I don't know what the hell Duncan Rulau is. I think he might. I think he might have um made the show. I don't. I don't know. Um. I will, I will be doing another video today to, um, apologize, but anyway, c c continuing on, um, what are we up to, oh yeah, uh, Alien Extinction was the final episode in the 2016 remake of the show, where every Ben is here, we have, um, we have Ben, 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 not Ben. Um, I can explain uh, Alien Extinction. I did watch Alien Extinction to review it. It wasn't good. Uh, but essentially, normal Ben from the very beginning, this Ben, uh, Ultimate Alien and Alien Force Ben, and Omniverse Ben were all dragged into 2016 Ben's timeline, with Yuri Lowenthal having a field day in voice acting, However, this doesn't make sense at all, because it states that they're all from the same universe, but they would all have to come from different timelines and 
all of it would have to be screwed over. However, this isn't all these bands that were dragged in, Ultimate Alien and Alien Force Band, even even though that they're in the same few months of each other, it doesn't make sense with them. But anyway, these are not the band that we see in the show. No. These are different bands. The band we see in the show is Ben Prime, the only good band. Ben Prime goes from this band to that band to that band, where the other ones dragged in with Alien Extinction are not Ben Prime. They're just other bands. They just did everything but without the multiverse travel shenanigans. And finally, Ben 10,000 slash Alternate Futures. Uh, ben 10,000 is Ben in the future where he unlocks 10,000 aliens when in Omniverse he unlocks a million, so lol. <laughs> but Ben 10,000's future alters every time that Ben does something. He's been shown to have a lot of different forms, like in the very first for, um. In the very first time that we saw Ben 10,000, he had the normal Omnitrix, the prototype, without it being recalibrated, that looked much different on him. That was all thrown out the window the minute Alien Force became, um, started up, with Ben not needing to transform, but just needing to, but can just use the power of his Omnitrix with, without actually turning into aliens. That was all entirely screwed over again in Omniverse, where Ben had the DN Omnitrix, or the Bi Omnitrix, which could mix the power of two aliens. He didn't have to transform, but he could transform to combine two aliens into one alien. And let me tell you something. That is so cool. That is the coolest thing ever. But still, that's what it means by Event 10,000 Ultimate Futures. But, um, alright guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'm sorry it's been two months. Um, I promise I'll be back again. I'm going to upload another video tonight and I'm going to build my computer for you. It's almost done. I got a refund on my motherboard after I got into some legal trouble uh, with the company and I'm getting my graphics card so we can all be excited or I can be excited. You guys have to sit along for the ride. Have fun everyone. Have a great day. Bye bye. See you later.